welcome back to Compounding Infinity, where we bridge the gap between the belief in the metaphysical and extraterrestrial. If you're new here, hello and welcome. This channel is where I dive into different books and media involving extraterrestrials, ancient earth history, and metaphysics to see if I can connect all of this information together to get an overall picture of the subject in hand. Today's episode is an update to a video I made in my targeted disinformation series that I think is really exciting. The video I will be referencing is here, and if you haven't gotten a chance to watch it, I do highly recommend watching that one first and then coming back here for the update. So for a brief recap, in this video I covered a movie called Children Who Chase Lost Voices from Deep Below. This movie is a Japanese animated film, or anime, focused on a young female protagonist who makes a friend from a strange place called Agartha. After some unfortunate events, she ends up making a trip to Earth's inner world, and we get to explore that while also learning some of the history of this antediluvian world. So I'm sure some of you are already wondering how much information could an anime movie give us about Agartha. A lot actually, and I cover it in great detail in my analysis. However, the portion that I have an update for is perhaps a minor detail that may have gone over a lot of viewers' heads if they weren't paying close attention. At one point in the movie, the agent from the movie's version of our secret government, called Archangel, follows the protagonist and her new friend to one of the entrances of Agartha in Japan. Now of course, he isn't surprised that this place is real, as he remarks on the other entrances that the group has encountered on one of Earth's poles. However, right before he goes into this entrance, he turns to his co-worker and says, give my regards to the agents in Europa. In my original analysis, I theorized that this reference was placed here to suggest that Europa, Jupiter's ice-covered moon, may have an underground civilization of its own, much like Agartha, if this movie was intended to indeed be targeted information, like I suspected. As I was able to find no malevolent agendas or fear tactics placed in this film, I was rather confident that this movie was indeed intended to gently disclose information about ancient Earth and her underground civilizations. So when I noticed that line in the film, I promised to keep you all updated if I was able to find any cooperating information about a possible subglacial civilization on Europa. Well, I'm rather late as this video I'm about to reference was posted November 30th of 2022, but better late than never, right? So first, if you haven't already, I highly recommend following Dr. Michael Sala. He has been interviewing different members of the SSP and has provided many fascinating updates on exopolitics and more for many, many years. In one of his most recent videos, which was an audio interview with JP, a longtime guest of the show, JP talks about his experience with Nordic extraterrestrials who took him to Jupiter to witness some cargo being passed off to other ETs. If you're not up to date on all of the happenings, there have been a lot going on around Jupiter. So initially, it was very interesting to hear more accounts of events happening in Jupiter's vicinity. After he's finished talking about that transaction, JP is taken to, you guessed it, Europa. And to my surprise and delight, shares some, of, some fascinating accounts of what he saw underneath the ice. Now, if you put two and two together, I think you'll know what I'm hinting at here. I will leave a link for you below with the entire interview, but how amazing is that? The same Europa I had previously theorized may have an underground civilization similar to Agartha based off of one small line in an anime movie turns out to be true according to JP. There have been other titles like Europa Report that speculate on there being oceanic life on this cold moon and many people have also theorized that there could at least be oceanic life underneath the surface of the ice. But, the place that is described in JP's interview matches up more with the events in Children Who Chase Lost Voices, as they describe there being entrances to underground civilizations that their agents were exploring. In this interview, a specific entrance is used to access this subglacial civilization as well. I think developments like this really hammer home the importance of analyzing the media that is already out there on these topics. 
Most of the time they will include information, most likely planted by those who wish to slowly introduce us to these topics to pre prepare us for our future of disclosure. While disinformation planted by old malevolent parties is present as well, if we remove the fear and think objectively, we can usually figure out what these old organizations were trying to hide. So with all that being said, I think we can definitely certify that Children Who Chase Lost Voices from Deep Below is a piece of information, and I personally highly recommend you give it a watch. It's also kid-friendly as well, and I think it will put a smile on your face. We will continue to look at different pieces of media as they fit in with the topics we're covering on this channel and discern if they are pieces of information or disinformation left behind by previous establishments. I just wanted to provide that little update for those who may have noticed that connection as well. Let me know what you think down below. Was it a lucky guess that this movie talked about a subglacial world on Europa? Or do you think it was purposefully placed in this movie to inform us? I'd love to hear what you think in the comments. Make sure to subscribe as I continue to review books and media on these topics so I know what you all like to see. As always, I'm your host, Jade Lore, and I'll see you in the next one.